too. You already know who it is. It's your boy C. D. K. Nation, man. <laughs> All right, and today we're going to be reacting to. Fly being delusional for 30 minutes straight, but we're only going to do like 10 minutes, 8 minutes. I know we do fly a lot, but, but it's not. like, y'all, y'all, y'all like it. 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 So, we just going to keep doing it. Well, but we you know what I'm saying? Like, Wait, we can, can we? Can we uh, say C to K Nation one more time for the... Hold on, hold on, C. hold on. D. K. Nation. All right, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to... Like, like comment, show. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We look too cool. You already know what I'm saying. All right. Hi. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? Hi. 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 Guys, if society is not getting dumber and dumber by the end of the day, what it do, flight crew, flight crew, FCC, Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the year and this is the day and the moment where I will admit what really happened, bro. Bro, do you clearly see the way the floor is level? And second two, my shoes were not tied all the way to the top. A lot of real hoopers know when you're playing real basketball, you gotta tie your shoes all the way to the hole to the top. I was missing like two holes that I was supposed to lace them up. So my shoes, if you see the way my foot, it contorted a little bit. I kind of skipped a little bit past it because my laces. Look at my foot, bro. That was actually dangerous, bro. And for a split second, my freaking right foot was literally dislocated at this point, bro. A lot of people don't realize that. This wasn't even my fault that this happened. I told you, like I said, it's the floor being leveled out and the fact that I didn't, you know, lace up my shoes the right way. Uh oh, retard alert. That's it. <laughs> Go subscribe, channel Ava, support on her journey. I still want to see successful. Maybe day we can work out. Nice shot. <laughs> Zach Levine. Decent shot. It's my type of shot, too. The biggest thing in W you can do if you're struggling with your jump shot. You know what I'm saying? And all you gotta do is just use a guy by the name of uh, Flight Reacts. Real life jump shot on the park. You know what I'm saying? This jump shot is so good. I don't even use it on my own my player just yet because it's so good. It's just practically cheating. You know what I'm saying? Say do it again. Stay off the weed. I played another one. You know what I'm saying for his channel. You know, so I was going like probably 70% because I was already gassed. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm not throwing no excuses out there. Goldson. I hate when they always show this play, bro. It's annoying. Like, bro, there's been plenty better blocks than that, bro. Like, Iggy, like I said, once again, should have slammed that, bro. Wow, that was so basic. That's my type of layup, too. Yeah! Curry doesn't have a single gray hair in his body. He just has perfect skin. His hairline is not receding at all. Man, I'm so blessed to watch this. From this city, I'm going to go with Anthony Davis as my number one pick. Bro, oh my gosh. LeBron, are you stupid, bro? You're going to pick James Harden or Kawhi, and you pick Anthony Davis, who plays on your... You wake up and play with this man every day, and you're picking Anthony Davis for your team, bro. Bro, what did Anthony Davis, LeBron, look at me right now. What did Anthony Davis do to you before you hopped on air and said this, bro? He had to have did something to you, bro. You could have picked James Harden or Kawhi. Just them alone was going to automatically give you a 75% chance of winning the All-Star game. Kawhi could have been for defense, so he would have been able to shut down anybody that was hot on the uh, uh, you know, opposite side. Or if you're struggling on offense, any other players, you could rely on James Harden to drop at least 30. You go ahead and pick Anthony Davis. Like, bro, this dude's just going to get a couple of alley-oops to All-Star game, man. Oh, big. Great matchup for uh, Anthony Davis. I'm going to go with Jordan B. Ooh. All right, bro. All right, bro. It's obvious that these first players that these guys are naming to pick them up, they did something to them before they hopped on there. If Anthony Davis did it, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Anthony Davis at the end of the day, he's an all-star. It's just he's not first-round pick material when it comes to an all-star game. Now we have a Kunpo. He is picking up Joel fucking Embiid, bro. Am I fucking dreaming? 
Bro, Joel and what is Joel and B gonna do for you on an actual All Star team, bro? This dude literally averages like eight or ten points. He's getting layups, bro. Hardcore fan of some of these players, not all of them, because I actually mess with some of these players. Keyword. Um, I'm gonna be getting really disrespectful, bro. Um, because as an NBA, you know what I'm saying, high knowledgeable uh, analyst and fan. It's really getting ridiculous how the All-Stars, you know what I'm saying, weekend is getting voted. Something I'm really upset about is I see like two, three players on here that I have never heard about.